Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class of Highway Survey and Design. I'm Wen Jiacheng, the main lecturer. Let's take a look at the longitudinal profile diagram of an actual engineering case. Do you know the longitudinal slope set by the designer between grade change points B and C? Last class, we learned the concept of longitudinal slope. Now let's review it. The longitudinal slope is obtained by dividing the elevation difference between two adjacent grade change points by slope length and multiplying it by 100%. According to the design elevations, let's calculate the height difference between grade change points B and C, that is 114 minus 108 equals 6 meters. According to this longitudinal profile diagram, we know that the slope length is 120 meters. Therefore, the longitudinal slope equals 6 divided by 120 multiplied by 100%, resulting in 5%. Think about it. Can the designers design the longitudinal slope between B and C to be 100% or flat? With this question in mind, let's learn about the four aspects of longitudinal profile design. Maximum longitudinal slope minimum longitudinal slope, average longitudinal slope, and composite longitudinal slope. First, let's look at the maximum longitudinal slope. The so-called maximum longitudinal slope refers to the maximum value of longitudinal slope allowed for roads at all levels in the longitudinal slope design. The design specification for highway alignment stipulates that the maximum longitudinal slope of highway is related to the design speed. For example, under normal circumstances, when the design speed is 80 km per hour, the maximum longitudinal slope is 5%. In addition, according to the specification, longitudinal slope reduction is required for plateau areas. For example, for a plateau of 4,000 to 5,000 meters, the longitudinal slope should be reduced by 2%. Excuse me. A highway is on the 4,500 meter plateau with a design speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And is the maximum longitudinal slope equal to 5% minus 2%, that is 3%? No, because the specification stipulates that 4% shall be used when it is less than 4% after reduction. Guys, as we can see from this example, how important it is to be familiar with industrial norms and strictly abide by them. Next, let's learn the important regulations on longitudinal slope design and design specification for highway alignment together. Regulation 1. The longitudinal slope on major and medium bridges should not exceed 4%, and the longitudinal slope of approach road at bridgehead should not exceed 5%. Regulation 2. In tunnels with a length of not less than 100 meters, the longitudinal slope should be less than 3%. Regulation 3. In the suburbs of towns and sections with large non-automobile traffic volume, the longitudinal slope can be appropriately slowed down according to specific conditions. Regulation 4. For the gentle slope sections, where the design speed is less than or equal to 80 km per hour, the longitudinal slope shall not be more than 3%. When the design speed is greater than 80 km per hour, the longitudinal slope shall not be more than 2.5%. From the above, it can be seen that the specification has a restriction on the maximum longitudinal slope of highways. So, are there any limitations on the minimum longitudinal slope? Yes. In order to meet the needs of longitudinal drainage, it is necessary to specify the minimum longitudinal slope for sections with poor drainage. In addition, for mountain highways, if small longitudinal slopes or even flat slopes are pursued, the quantities of earthwork excavation and filling and construction cost will be increased. Therefore, the specification stipulates that the longitudinal slope of highways should not be less than 0.3%. Next, let's learn about average longitudinal slope. The so-called average longitudinal slope refers to the ratio of height difference overcoming longitudinal direction to root lengths in continuous ascending or descending sections. Its formula is I average equals the height difference overcoming longitudinal direction divided by root lengths 
multiplied by 100%. Unless traffic safety evaluation is carried out, the average slope and continuous slope lengths of freeways, first-class highways, and continuous long and steep downhill sections should not exceed those specified in Table 8.3.5 of Design Specification for Highway Alignment. For continuous uphill or downhill sections of mountain crossing routes of 2nd, 3rd, and 4th class highways, the specification stipulates that when the relative height difference is 200 to 500 meters, the average longitudinal slope shall not be greater than 5.5%. When the relative height difference is greater than 500 meters, the average longitudinal slope shall not be more than 5%. For any continuous 3-kilometer section, the average longitudinal slope should not be greater than 5.5%. Finally, let's learn about composite slope. Composite slope refers to the slope composed of longitudinal slope of a route and super-elevation cross-slope, or crown cross-slope of curve, which is represented by capital English letter I. The calculation formula is the arithmetic square root of the sum of the squares of crown cross-slope and longitudinal slope. The specification stipulates that the maximum composite slope value of highway shall not be greater than that specified in Table 8.5.1, and the minimum composite slope of highway should not be less than 0.5%. Let's look at an example. A second-class highway with a design speed of 80 km per hour has a horizontal curve with a radius of 250 meters, a super-elevation cross-slope of 8%, and a longitudinal slope of 4.8%. Please judge whether the composite slope of the super-elevation section of the horizontal curve meets the specification requirements. According to the calculation formula of composite slope, composite slope is equal to the arithmetic square root of the sum of the squares of crown cross slope and longitudinal slope, which is equal to the root sign 0 0.0a square plus 0.4a square. After calculation, the composite slope is equal to 9.33%. According to the specification, for second-class highways with a design speed of 80 km per hour, the maximum allowable composite slope is 9%, while 9.33% is greater than 9%. Therefore, this composite slope does not meet the requirement of the specification. In this lesson, we learned that the requirements of design specification for highway alignment on longitudinal slope design from four aspects, maximum longitudinal slope, minimum longitudinal slope, average longitudinal slope, and composite longitudinal slope. Do you get it?